Hello friends. Today we are going to return a value with a function using return. Uh, we can pass values into a function with arguments and you can use return statement to send a value back out of a function. The example here is we say plus three and we return the number plus three. The answer is equal to plus three, five, which gives us eight. Uh, yeah, and so we create a function times five that accepts one argument, multiplies it by five, and then returns the value. See the return, see the last line in the editor for an example of how you can test times five function. Okay, cool. Times five function, what are they talking about? Uh, example function, uh, minus seven. So anything that you pass into this uh, function here, it's going to do minus seven. We only want to ch change the code below this line. Uh, we want to create a function times five. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create a function times five. This is, uh, so this is a function here. So we just want to copy this function times five that accepts one argument. So this is the first one. Uh, we could just call it a number for now and multiplies it times five. So and then returns the new value. So we want to say return num times five. Set the last line in the editor for an example of how you can test your times five function. So minus seven, okay, so this is console logging minus seven, 10. So they're setting 10. So 10 minus seven is equal to three, and that's why we have three down here. So what we want to do is console.log uh, times five. What's good one times five? Five, right? So we set the number five. That'll give us five, or 25. 25 times five is five. Um, oh look, they actually have it here. Should equal 25 times two. If we were to console.log times five by two, we should get 10 here, which we do. So um, another one that they want us to test is times five and zero. What do you think will happen there? We'll get zero. And then they're also saying times five should be a function. So if we were to say console.log uh, times five uh, type of I've actually never tried to do that before. But yeah, this is going to be a function. So here we've actually console logged that this all out, and so we're confident that this is going to be correct. And uh, that's how you write it. Uh, let's see. Return a value from a function. One thing that's interesting about return is that you will you won't get the things that happen after. Um, so if I were to say, if I were to log out uh, programming school, if I were to do this beforehand, this is one of the interesting, important things about um, return, is that every time that we run this, what's happening is we're running this function, which means we're coming up and we're console logging programming is cool. But if we were to move this one, this uh, console log, this says programming is cool, where it's like three. So what's happening is we're assigning the function and then we're assigning the function and then we're calling uh, uh, minus seven from 10 and then we're getting three here. And then the next thing we're doing is times five by five. That's why we're getting 25. But instead of, oh, we get this three. And then the next one, we're calling this function here, minus 10. We're calling the function. So we're saying programming is cool. And then we're returning the number times five. And then we're getting 25. And then afterwards, we're console, we're console logging times five uh, by uh, two. And it's coming up here, and it's console logging programming is cool, and then we're setting 10. This might seem tedious, but stick with me here. And then finally, we're doing it to, to zero. So we're console logging programming is cool, uh, and then we're going uh, zero times five, which gets us zero. Uh, zero. And that's how we're uh, console logging all this out. Now, if we were to move this console log below the return function, 
we wouldn't actually get this at all because once we pass this return function, we exit the function. This is actually really important that they don't uh, specify here specifically, but because you return something, that means that you exit out of the function. Um, and that becomes very important later on in life. Uh, but if we run these tests, they pass and uh, that's great. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.